Hey, hello everyone, Ranjit this side. So in this video, we will create a new database and then within that database, we will create a table and then uh, within that table, we will load the data with the help of bulk insert query so that uh, we don't need to create, um, let's say bulk um, in multiple insert statements. So we will load the whole data from a text file into the table, right? So let's start this. So first let's connect it uh, to the SQL Server. So this is my SQL Server and then I'm doing the Windows authentication, click on connect. So uh, this is where you will see the list of all the databases. We already have some uh, databases created, but we will start or we will create another database from uh, fresh or let's say from start. And the rest of the things, let's uh, let's uh, leave it as it is. Okay, so uh, see there are two ways of creating a database. One is of course, right click and create new database and then here you can give the database name and then the owner of that database right um, and then you have another option of creating a database with the help of a query so let's try that click on new query right and then let's say create database and then the database name um, so I will give the database name as um, financial data okay um so this will be the database name and then it's up to you whether you want to click uh, or let's say uh add the semicolon but this is what what it is and then if you see over here uh just to add on to this here you will see a master database as a default one and which is very much common we will change this um so let's click on execute so the database has been created now here you will not see the list of database or let's say you will not see the newly created database for that you need to refresh it so right click and refresh now you will see a new database named financial uh, sorry uh, yeah financial data i think the spelling uh, is, is incorrect but uh, it's okay right um, okay now let's uh, create a table right So let's say create table and I will say dbo dot dbo is a schema uh, we have discussed about it in the previous video uh, and then let's say company by sector right and then let's open the brackets and then i'm saying so now we will be listing down the list of columns that we need in this particular table right um so it will be thicker and then i'm saying it should be anywhere care uh let's say it should have 50 characters i'm just coming on to that what it is and then it should be a not null now what this is is more um like so the ticker is the column name right um, and then we have nvar care or nvar char um, which is basically a data type so this will take multiple types of data let's say uh, it can have text it can have numbers float and even the date but that will be considered as a text data only now 50 is the number of characters that this column will take so it will not take more than 50 number of characters in this right it can take 1 to uh, 50 for sure and then uh, the next one is a not null. So basically this not null men say maintains or let's say uh, it will force you to add a data into this sticker because uh, it's a not nullable column. So it says that this column cannot be blank or let's say empty, right? And similar way we have description, same goes with this as well. So it will be anywhere cache. Description should be a little bit more, um, let's say, so we'll say 100 characters. Uh, it can, no, let's not make it nullable, not null, right? And then we have price. Price cannot again be nullable, but before that, it should be float. 
so float is again a data type right and uh, this should not be more than we don't do we need uh, the number of characters let's not give a number of characters right again it's a uh, not null then we have sector and it can have nware cache right and uh, let's give the restrictions to 50 number of characters again it's a uh, not null right so this is how the the syntax for creating a new table now before executing this table um, what we need to do is to change the database name so if you see over here as soon as as i mentioned when you log into the ssms uh, the default database is master so either you can do is you know select a financial data or what you can do is you can say use financial data so this will change the database over here so if i if i run this so now it's a financial data right and then once this is uh, changed to financial data now we can create the table so for creating the table we will say execute so what it has done so now if i go into this and so within the financial data so this is our database within that database if i go to the tables it got refreshed and then we have company by sector and then within the company by sector if we go more into the columns so we have ticker we have description price and sector so whenever you create a table make sure that you go into uh, more detail and check you know whether uh, all the columns have been created or not because sometimes there could be uh, you know when you spend a lot of time creating this table then why not just simply go through it right so we have a uh, number of characters 50 not null description here uh, there is one more thing called primary key which we will be discussing in the in the coming videos because that is also really important okay now since we have created the table let's load the data into this table right now the so always comment like i used to say when once you um run a query which includes create update delete or uh, drop always make sure to comment it so we can do it with control k and control c right so we have commented it now let's uh, create a query to bulk insert the data right so the data is in the folder that i have this is a path of my um, file the text file right now let's uh, create the syntax so um bulk insert into which table so we are inserting it into let's say dbo dot company company by sector right so in this uh, table we will be inserting the data from which data source so i'm saying it should be from this table or oh, sorry this file i'll show you the file as well how it looks so single inverted comma and then you have single inverted comma over here so let me show you the file as well so this is the file that we have uh, i don't know if i yeah so we have ticker description price and sector now one thing that we need to make sure and uh, is the column names that you give or the column names that you have over here should be the same in the in the query as well when we create the bulk insert and then the let's say even the the sorting or not sorting but the columns should be in the same order as well so when i say ticker description price and sector so that should be the same uh in the in the table as well so we have ticker description price and sector right so make sure that you have it on the correct now we write with now we are passing some uh, information that uh, that will help to load the data right so when i say information it's more about uh, from where the data starts in the text file so i'm saying first row is starting from the second line right and then we have field terminator by eld terminator is um so basically it's it is asking you know which whether it's a comma separated data or let's say tab separated data so right now we have tab separated data right and then it's asking whether uh the to row terminator so the next line uh, of course it will be a next line uh, so we have multiple uh, rows so let's say row terminator is equal to slash n then uh, last but not the least is the tab logs so the tab log 
um, statement restricts the access to the table while the data is loading right so when you are loading the data into this table so basically this table gets locked and uh, no other transactions can be um, done during this period or while loading the data so that's why we use the tab lock right so i think the query is this is what it is now just to make sure that we don't have any data in this table let's just check you know it's always to just verify things um you know before doing anything so let's say select start from five. so the table is empty right now right so now let's uh, load the data so we have loaded 4710 records now let's check how many records do we have so it's 4710 records great um so the data is loaded right so how can you check even uh, you know with the help of uh, the query as well so we basically you can select right click this table and click select top thousand records or let's say rows uh, and then you can uh, see the number of records you can also change this uh, select top thousand rows to something else but uh, i'll not go to that okay so this is how you load the data or let's say bulk insert the data into the into the table so yeah this is it um this is how you create a database how you create a table and then bulk insert the data into the table uh till the next video bye take care have a great day